guys. Welcome to Christ in Comics episode two. Yeah. Uh, I am your sidekick, <laughs> Bad Gamer Elite, with our host, Small Genie, a.k.a. Lem and Micah. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this, Micah. Yeah, I'm excited. One of these days I'll do the intro, but for now, I I, I defer to Lem until I, I come up with something that I feel comfortable with. So we'll yeah. come up with something. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so I wanted to start this conversation. Last time we talked about rest and what that looks like for superheroes. But today we actually sat down and we were going over some topics, you know, what we could talk about. Yeah. And so we were looking at the, like the national days in October. And one of the ones that stood out to me was National Reptile Awareness Day. Reptile Awareness Day, guys. Like, we were just going through the list and I think I actually said Reptile Awareness Day. And Mike said, ooh. Yeah, because, okay, when I think of comics, there yeah. are so many reptile characters. Yeah. Uh, it just feels like a gold mine. Yeah. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to ask, Lem. Yeah. Have you ever owned a reptile as a pet? Have I ever owned a reptile as a pet? Have we never met, bro? <laughs> I just had to ask. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's the thing. Uh, Mike and I actually know each other pretty well, but I, I, I tend to surprise him all the time with little tidbits from my life. Did you know that I was the reptile manager for the number one pet store when I was in high school? Uh, I didn't. I do, <laughs> I do now. Um, uh, yeah, absolutely. I um, Yes, I, I have. And even when I was a kid, I owned reptiles. I had garter snakes. I had basilisk lizards. I had anoles or anoles, depending on how you want to uh, call them. Um, I've had turtles. I've had, uh, I've had snakes, all kinds of snakes. I've had ball pythons. Uh, Bur uh, Burmese pythons, uh, uh, red tail boas. Um, I used to work on a reptile zoo. I was a tour guide in a reptile zoo. Wow. Um, so I've uh, dealt with alligators and crocodiles and uh, been around poisonous snakes. Um, so, so back up real quick. You yeah. just said alligators and crocodiles? Yeah. Did you feed them? No. Well, here's the thing. I would have fed the alligator, but the owner was very particular about that. I would go nowhere, nowhere near the crocodiles. Crocodiles are ridiculous. They are mean for being mean sake. Mm -hmm. They are just, they're, no, crocodiles, no. Okay, did you have a favorite reptile out of those? Um, when I was with the circus, we had uh, a, uh, a python. Of course, his name was Monty. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> he's a Burmese python. Uh, I liked him, he was really cool. Um, I had a, I had an iguana. Okay. Um, and he was really cool. He lived on the, on my, my, uh, curtain rod in my, in my room when I was a, when I was a teenager. Nice. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. I always had like, uh, small mammals, like gerbils. Yeah. Sugar gliders. Stuff I had like those that. too. Never Not reptiles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think herpetophobia is the fear of reptiles. <laughs> Uh, I'm personally not scared of reptiles. Uh, crocodiles would make me a little uncomfortable. Yeah, a little uncomfortable. You have every right to be afraid as crocodiles as you would should be cows. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm not scared of cows, but Lem will not take a picture with a cow for the life of him. Nope. Nope. No cows. So, will not. Will not. No. No cows. Mm -hmm. So snakes are a little creepy too. Yeah. Um, a I, little bit, a little bit. I find them creepy. I'm not like scared of them, but like if I were to see one in my house, yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, yeah. One time we found some snakes in our basement when we were cleaning stuff out, and that's about as close as a snake in Wisconsin. No, this was in Michigan. Oh, okay. Well, Michigan uh, still. Michigan, wow, that's pretty close. That's that's still north. Yeah, though. Midwest. I wouldn't. Think, what kind of snakes do you know? Uh, I feel like they were just garter snakes. Okay. So nothing too scary, but right, still, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm not a fan of reptiles, um, and one of the things we're going to talk about today is uh, reptile characters in comics. Reptile characters, okay. And I'm a DC guy, so the first one that comes to mind is Killer Croc, and I feel like <laughs> the fear of reptiles kind of applies to him. Um, I mean, uh, a human reptile, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> Killer Croc's interesting because I was researching some of his background today, and I've read a lot of comics that have Killer Croc in them, um, but I read his uh, origin in The New 52, which is DC's reboot when they rebooted in uh, the early 2010s. Okay. 
So Killer Croc in that um, comic, essentially, he grows up in Tampa and he's got an abusive aunt. He's raised by his aunt. Does he look like a crocodile at that time? So he looks a little strange. So Killer Croc, uh, his real name is Waylon Jones. He has a skin condition. Um, okay. And it's interesting because like in the Suicide Squad movie, they give him multiple skin conditions to look kind of like what he does. Yeah. Um, but Killer Croc, he starts looking kind of like a normal kid that has a skin condition. Um, but as he grows up, he starts to mutate even more and starts to look more and more like a crocodile. So in the comic I was reading, um, it was Batman and Robin. Um, it shows Killer Croc's backstory. He was uh, probably about, I would guess, maybe around 10 um, and his aunt was giving him a bath, and she was trying to have him scrub the scales off. Oh, really? Because his aunt thought he looked like a freak, and she just kept hammering that home that he looked, you know, just gross. Okay. And he looked like a monster, and he was creepy, and he was never going to have any friends if he looked like that. And he was, you know, he started to cry, and he's like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to scrub the scales off. It hurts. Um, That's just basically just scrubbing his skin off, right? Basically, because that is his skin. The scales are part of his skin. Um, so Killer Croc, from there, he goes and he grows up. And he basically leaves and he joins a carnival where he starts wrestling alligators. And so he gets the name Killer Croc there. Um, and then beyond that, he realizes he can make more money as a criminal. Um, and so he moves to Gotham and he becomes a crime boss. Uh, the guy, the owner of the carnival tells Killer Croc, you're never going to find a normal job. You're never going to be a dentist. You know, you're never going to be a police officer. No one's going to take you seriously. People are going to get scared of you. Uh, so Killer Croc, he never had any friends growing <coughs> up. Uh, even his aunt thought he was a freak. Um, so he basically, his only option was to become a criminal. Um, and that's when he moves to Gotham and he fights Batman. And we know how that story goes. Um but I thought that was really interesting because I feel like in the story of Killer Croc, we see this self-fulfilling prophecy where people view him like a monster. They treat him like a monster. So he becomes a monster. Mm. So it was interesting. I was reading, you know, Bible verses, trying to find, you know, applicable Bible verses that kind of relate to Killer Croc and what this... Um, what his story is basically. Yeah. And I was reading the story of King David in Samuel. Okay. And so Samuel is looking for the next king of Israel. And if you've never heard the story of David, David has a bunch of brothers. They're all tall. They're all strong. They're all good looking. And so David's father lines them all up for Samuel and says, here, you know, pick one of my, one of these sons, you know, one of these brothers. Yeah. Um, and they'll, you know, they'll be your option for the next king of Israel. And Samuel looks at all of them and he says, this isn't good enough. Um, and then basically, <laughs> long story short, um, he brings in David and David's smaller. You know, he's not as good looking. He's basically kind of, you know, the runt of the family. Yeah. Um, not the person you'd expect to be the king of this nation. Um, but Samuel picks him out and he says, yeah, you know, God looks at the heart. People look at the outward appearance. Mm. You know, God looks at what's inside. So I think that's interesting because it's really easy to treat people differently when they look different, when they act different. But deep down, God looks at who you are as a person. Mm. Um, and so finding application for this, yeah. you know, I need to treat people the same no matter who they are, what they look like. Right. You know, whether it's race or gender or all of that. Um, you know, if people are a little weird, you know, we got to treat them a little weird. A little weird. So, I mean, yeah, I'm a nerd myself. So yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was really interesting. Um, yeah. And that's kind of what I took away from Killer Croc's story. Um, eventually he falls in love with Enchantress because she's the only person that doesn't see him as a monster. Mm. Um, so he kind of gravitates to people that accept him. So I think it's important for us to be the, you know, those people. Um, so in terms of other reptile characters, Lem, I know you're more of a Marvel guy. Yeah. So who stands out to you from Marvel comics? Okay. I think I would be remiss in my duties if I didn't say the lizard. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so <laughs> right. Like if we're talking about reptiles in comics and we start with Marvel 
I think we have to start off with the one whose name is <laughs> the lizard. <laughs> the lizard. So most of my background of the lizard is from the Spider-Man movies. Yeah. So that's, you know, I know him from the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man when he was Kurt Connors, you know, Amazing yeah. Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, tell me a little bit about Comic Lizard. Okay, so Comic Lizard, like, um, Kurt Connors, uh, again, was pretty much like Spider-Man, Spider-Man's professor and everything like that. He had lost an arm. Now we gotta remember, guys. I am more of a um, of a X Men guy, so I know surface level lizard stuff. Um, uh, I uh, I know that Kurt Connors basically had lost an arm, and he thought he felt you know less of a man uh, in, in in the in in the in the grand scope of thing, less of a man, and he knew that. Reptiles could grow stuff back, so he decided, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't remember him being this crazy megaloma uh, megalomaniac bad guy who wanted to turn the whole city into lizards. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. It could have happened. And um, if you're listening to the podcast, put it in the comments. Make sure you, e you can email me at badgamer at lifepromotions.org. <laughs> right there. Do that. Uh, or, uh, or anything like that. But... He ended up being, you know, like this, uh, a man-sized lizard where he was pretty much keeping to himself, but sometimes you get hungry, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Um, that's something that I uh, I really was was thinking about with, with, with the lizard. He just wanted to be himself, by himself. He didn't think, be, and Kurt Connors didn't think he was worthy of the love that some people were trying to give him because he had lost his arm mm -hmm. you know uh he had that loss and now i'm less of a person and that just reminds me that of like you know god looks at us and he's like hey um yeah i know you're not perfect trust i know mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean i don't love you yeah you're gonna have crappy days but that doesn't mean i don't love you you're gonna have amazing days that doesn't mean that i don't still take care of you and love you you know, um, and uh, I, if, if I can, I, can I go to another one? Oh, yeah. Is it, there's another one that, oh, uh, if we're talking Marvel, I have to talk X-Men and Sauron. Mm -hmm. Sauron. Yes, the same name as the eye in the, the two towers, right? Um, and uh, he, they actually use that name because he actually can't, he has, uh, he's a pterodactyl. Okay. He's a pterodactyl man, and he actually can use his eyes to hypnotize you and make you think things or, or, or become his slave or whatever. Okay. And um, that just reminds me of um, certain, a certain reptile in the Bible uh -huh. <laughs> that didn't, nec didn't necessarily hypnotize, but, you know. Oh, yeah. Kind of was like... He weaseled his way into things, if you will. And weasels are long and skinny. A little furry, but you know, yeah. le less furry than the, who I'm thinking about. Yeah. Are, are you <laughs> thinking about the devil? Yeah, they were the devil. Like the snake, right? Snake in the Garden of Eden. Yeah, he, he used his uh, influence there. He's... Yeah. Like, he, he didn't like say, hey, uh, you're going to do all the things. Ooh. No, he was like, look. Um... That, uh, did God say you, you you can't eat that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's totally said that. And uh, he also said if we eat it, um, uh, we're going to die. Well, God didn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> he got he got them to question God. Yeah. And I think that's scary because he didn't just say, you know, this is it. He got yeah. him to, you know, he slipped in and got him to doubt. Yes. Um, so it's important that we're grounded and that we don't have that room for doubt. Yeah. Um, um, it, it, it's crazy. We, 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 attri uh, we give attributes to a lot of these, uh, reptiles as being sneaky and bad. I mean, I, it, it's really hard to think of, um, a reptile that would be a hero or four. Okay. <laughs> who, who are you thinking of? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, baby! Okay. <laughs> Right, because um, tur uh, turtles are, and I always thought that turtles were considered 
amphibians uh -huh. because a lot of them live in the water, but they're actually considered reptiles. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's interesting you said that, Lem, because I'm wearing a, I don't know if you can see this, uh, a Grogu Baby Yoda shirt. Yeah. Um, so I was questioning this morning, is Yoda a reptile? And so Ooh. I got to thinking about it because I was questioning my whole life here. <laughs> um, so, so I looked it up and I couldn't find, I couldn't find a definitive answer on it. Right. But then I found an article that shows that Yoda, you know, he wears his cloak when he's out in the cold and he's not shivering. So if he was cold blooded, he'd probably be shivering and probably, right. you know, the coat, yeah. the coat wouldn't do anything. So most likely he's warm blooded. And he's got hair. And he's got hair. So he's probably a mammal. Yeah. But I was questioning myself just for a little bit this morning <laughs> and just questioning my entire life. So. Who is the, uh, who's the, the bounty hunter that is probably a reptile? Uh, Bosk? Yeah, Bosk. Yeah. Yeah. You see how they, they, they made him a bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah. So I found a lot of, or I guess a few reptile heroes, but they were all like really minor. Okay, like who? Um, so I think there's a Marvel character called Anole. Yeah. Or, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, who? Anybody else? Um, not off the top of my head. There was one um, that I looked up, uh, and I believe his name is Reptile. Yes, that was the other one. Yeah. So I found two. Um, I'd say probably most of them were villains, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Reptile. Oh, hold on. I, I, I had it up on... on uh, e Reptile Marvel. All right. Reptile. There we go. Um, they, I'm going to fandom. For those who don't know, I'm... I'm uh, I'm going to put this in the chat just for our friends that are here live. And if you want to join us live while we record these things, um, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash godgamesandgeekery. Uh, that's twitch.tv slash godgamesandgeekery. Um, or you can follow us over on the uh, YouTubes. Just look up God Games and Geekery. Um, so Reptile... Uh, had his own comic for a while. Uh, Prime Marvel Universe, Earth 616. Um, he had some comic versions. Uh, there were, oh, there were animated versions. Of, oh, that's the one I remember. I remember the animated version ones. Uh, Superhero Squad. Superhero Squad. <laughs> My son and I used to watch those. Uh, and he is also in Lego Marvel Universe? Really? And Marvel Avengers Alliance and in Puzzle Quest. Um, so yeah, so he's, again, he's a minor one, but I, rem I do remember him. I do remember him. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, do you know, is Devil Dinosaur considered a hero? I think so, because he used to be it used to be Devil Dinosaur and Moon Boy, mm -hmm. and they kind of revamped him, and now it's Moon Girl. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say that. Okay. Some other villains I found uh, were the Cobra Cult in DC. Okay. Uh, Copperhead. Oh, yeah. So there's been multiple versions of Copperhead. Yeah. Um, the Copperhead I know best is from the Arkham Origins game. Uh, there's a really cool boss fight where you fight like multiple versions. You're poisoned, and you really? figure out which one's the real one. Okay. Um, so the other one is the turtle. Uh, he's the not turtle. actually a villain. <laughs> uh, he's a flash villain, um, but he slows down time. Um, so he's not a he's a man, but he, you know he goes by the name. Oh, turtle. he goes by the name. Does he look like a turtle? Uh, he kind of does, kind of like the way the penguin looks like a penguin. Okay. Uh, so he's kind of short. Uh, and then the Serpent Society. Yes. Serpent Society. Um, the funny thing is, um, they have Serpent Society in all of the, you know, the Earths <laughs> mm -hmm. um, for uh, for um, uh, Marvel. But 616 was the one that I remembered. Um, and I didn't remember that they started in a... Um, in, uh, uh, Captain America. Okay. Yeah, they started Captain America in the early... 
early 80s, mid 80s, I think. Um, and uh, I, I didn't remember, I didn't remember that at all. I just remembered Serpent Society. My brother was more on the Avengers side than I was. I was more of the, uh, the X Men, like I said. And uh, wow, I did not realize that they started there. And um, he, uh, they, Captain America got ganged up by, I want to say there were like seven of them or something like that. I don't remember. Um, here, I got it right here. Uh, Captain America uh, 310, July 1985. Um, so they were mercenaries and that's why they went after Captain America. They, they were like, hey, let's go get him. Yeah, I love a good supervillain team in comics. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are... Oh my gosh. And now there's Serpent Solutions. Okay. Okay, so okay. hold on. I'm going to link this. <laughs> I kind of like Serpent Solutions better. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like they're about to paint my house or something. <laughs> um, Serpent Solutions... That just sounds to me like, all right, hey, other bad guys, uh, you can't take down your guy. I got you. <laughs> um, so while we're talking about this, Lem, uh, can we talk about uh, different types of reptiles? Um, I know we had talked about before this show dragons. Yes. And do we consider those reptiles? I know they're not real, but can we talk well, Komodo about... Komodo dragons are real. They are. <laughs> Those are reptiles. Do you have a favorite comic dragon? Oh, a favorite comic dragon. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know. Okay, so there's Fing Fang Foom, but I don't know a lot about him. Uh huh. So he's not like my favorite. Uh, was there a Mulan comic? Because Mushu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that exists somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would I like I, I like Mushu um and then uh Ryan the Last Dragon, that dragon uh voiced by Aquafina. Yeah. Oh, uh, she was that was fun. That was a funny dragon. Um uh Bruce Lee. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Okay. How about how about dinosaurs? Oh, favorite dinosaurs. Um of course you have the dinosaurs, the you know, the show. Dinos, dinosaurs. I love that show. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, oh, there was a oh, what's the uh the dino the dinosaurs that were mercenaries with eat on eat the cat. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't remember. Uh is this a show or a comic? Yeah, it's a show. Um uh <laughs> Amanda says, is Dragon Tales a comic? Because I'm down with those. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I grew up on Dragon Tales. Eek the cat. Dinosaurs, um, but uh, I am also a fan of the Dinobots if they count. I think they count. Uh, the Thunder Lizards. There we go. Yes. Oh my gosh, I loved Thunder Lizards. That was so good. Now I gotta find Eat the Cat because that was a great. It never hurts to help. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, since we're talking about dinosaurs, I got to tell you about this comic I was reading this morning, Lem. Okay. So, I was looking up reptiles, and then I remembered that there was recently a comic that just came out called the Jurassic League, where basically it's the Justice League, but they're all dinosaurs. What? Uh, so, it's not That's like, not a thing. So, the story is not super original, but it is a really fun comic because it's like satire. Yeah. So, it's satirizing, or satir satirizing? Sat satire. Satirizing. Satirizing? I don't know. Justice League? English majors, hook us up! <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, you have Superman, and he gets uh, he crashes on Earth, and he gets found by a bunch of cavemen, and his egg hatches, and they raise him, and he becomes super sore. Then you have Bat-Sor. Uh, <laughs> his parents are murdered by Joker Zard. Oh uh, my god. So uh, Joker Zard also murders uh, this little kid's parents, um, and so this little caveman's kid is running around and following Batsore. 
And Batsor is super annoyed that this kid is following him. And they're both yelling at each other and they can't speak the same language. <laughs> and so half the comic is just them mad at each other. Oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah, there's Wonder Dawn, uh, Black Mantasaurus. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Flash Raptor. And so it's just this really fun. Flash uh, Raptor. Yeah. Just. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking for Eek the Cat anywhere to stream and I'm not finding it anywhere. <laughs> um, yeah. Don't click on some of those links. Like yeah. I'm not clicking on any of the links. <laughs> I'm just gonna get rid of that page, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I see. What other dragons or dinosaurs? Ooh, I know uh, Shazam fought a dragon in Fury of the Gods. Ooh. Okay. So he punched a dragon. Do do the uh, Horizon Zero Dawn dinosaurs count? I think they do. Because I know there's Horizon Zero Dawn comics. Yeah, I mean they're basically like Sorry. pterodactyls and yeah. dinosaurs. Um, I'm trying to think, what else? Oh my goodness! I know there's not comics yet that I've seen anywhere, but I learned a lot about dragons uh, from uh, from Harry Potter. Yeah, <laughs> the Hungarian horntail. Yeah, Hungarian horntail, and like when you read the books, they actually have a whole slew. Of infor- a slew of information about the dragons, like more than they do in the movies. Yeah. Um, and then, um, what else? Who else has got dragons? Oh, um, uh, t- uh, two of my favorite dragons also are whatever Hanzo shoots out of his yeah. bow and arrow. <laughs> yeah, I think Genji technically channels a dragon. Too. Yeah, he does. Uh, so we got dragons all over the geekdom. I mean, obviously outside of Destiny Share Smog, which I gotta admit, Smog is probably the most well versed dragon that I've ever read about. Yeah. I mean, like even more than Mushu. Mushu's pretty Mushu's pretty cool, but Smog is smart. Yeah, I think Smog was the first dragon I ever encountered in media really. Oh really? So Hobbit I read when I was really young. Yeah. So I always had that picture of this just like giant hulking intelligent dragon you know it's yeah. terrifying when bilbo's like he has the <laughs> ring on and he's like trying not to get caught by smog and he's still smog still knows he's there yeah just, oh there's a dragon in shrek there's a dragon in shrek mm-hmm. i think that counts I, 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 there's shrek comics i know there's shrek comics uh so we're, we're counting it uh uh peach dragon is there a paul says peach dragon um is there like a peach dragon comic uh that's a good question i feel like if you go back there there's gotta be i feel like there's a comic for almost anything yeah i don't uh, know is there barney comics i don't know if there's a barney <laughs> comic. Um, let's look at peach dragon comic yeah i need to know yeah uh it's a film Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, those are the little golden books. Oh, and that is, I think that would be considered a comic. I mean, picture books basically are yeah. baby's first comic. Peace Dragon, comicbook.com. Uh, that's, they're talking about the movie. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I take it back. I guess there's not a comic for everything. Yeah. No, there's not. Complex history, it says. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm, let me think, what else? Okay, so, I don't know if there's a comic for it, but there's gotta be. There's gotta be. Just the art style of this, there's gotta be. Have you ever watched The Dragon Prince? It's on my watch list. Mm. I've never seen it, but it looks really good. Uh, if you like, um... Avatar The Last Airbender, you'll like that one. Okay. We're going to look up the Dragon Prince. Okay. Um, yeah, so did you come across anything else that just stood out? It- yeah, I think it's interesting because, again, kind of going back to that conversation about most reptiles being portrayed as villains in comics 
um, and how you know the phrase snake being called the snake is considered a negative thing mm-hmm. um, and I think it's interesting because like some of the reptile heroes like you said um, they kind of have to break that mold um, mm. there is a lot of prejudice towards some of the characters we've mentioned yeah um, and how they might be scary and they might come off as monsters mm-hmm. and like we have to be quick not to judge people yeah on stuff like that just like Amanda was saying um, with uh, uh, how to train your dragon mm-hmm. that's a really good example yeah I mean with with not just toothless but hiccup as well hiccups being judged by just his appearance by everybody and how he how he thinks things through by everybody but um uh he he and toothless are very much the same like that right mhm yeah yeah so before we go here today lem What's one thing you wish people knew about reptiles since you're the reptile whisperer? <laughs> um, some of the fear is not unfounded. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I believe, and I could be wrong on this, zoologists, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but reptiles lack that part of the brain for the for that um that bond like ma- like mammals do like birds do like a lot of them do uh and that's so it's not unfounded but that does not mean that reptiles need to be feared yeah yeah speaking of scary reptiles uh one last one real quick paul mentions godzilla think so yeah you think yeah zilla yeah yeah all right uh yeah well that's that's i'll give that because there are godzilla comics because i have them (laughs) yeah awesome awesome well great that's awesome well hey micah thank you for bringing us the reptile piece today yeah i i want to sit down i want to talk a little bit more about your time as a reptile (laughs) uh yeah. The yeah. more I spend time with you, the more I learn about you. Lance, so, <laughs> well, hey, if you have questions about my time as a reptile person, uh, yes, Junker Jake asked, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are cold blooded, right? Yes, they are. That's why I'm sporting the shirt today. Um, but, uh, guys, thanks for being here. We're going to be back n- maybe next month with another Christ in Comics. Mm hmm. Jesus loves you. So do I. So does this guy. And always, always leave people better than you found them. (laughs) Peace. Peace.